French side. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. A reminder for myself that what we call the Dajjal, the Antichrist, its understanding is that it's a world of lies. Anytime a people choose to raise their children and raise their nation on lies and then they want to talk about they have the truth, they have any understanding of the truth. Let's remind each other, any lie that you give to people darkens their heart and the truth nourishes the heart. Ma'auzu billahi min shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. We grew up and someone taught us about Santa Claus and that's a lie that that man is nothing to do with holiness and he's made from Coca-Cola <laughs> and it's all anti-Christ, has nothing to do with Sayyidina Isa as -salam. On this earth the green tree is a source of oxygen, shaitan makes them kill a billion of these trees every year and put offerings at the bottom of it. Adorning the tree was a pagan custom in which they used to bow down, give offering to these realities. And then they said, oh run after this bunny rabbit where they hide eggs and later you realize, hey bunnies don't have eggs. That was Esther and a pagan holiday. And then they said, oh when you lose your teeth put under your pillow and these devils can take the teeth but not harm the child. These are all lies, these are all pagan beliefs, these are all they're anything far from the truth. If you feed your children lies after lie after lie, think it's cute, you're teaching them and raising them with a poison. None of those stories are true, none of what they teach are true and anything they do teach is not the complete story but his story. And that's why this is a Dajjal system. Any lie that you give to people darkens their heart and the truth nourishes the heart. Allah grant a light into the heart of the believer, with that light they can look out at everything and see how this dunya enslaves them. This dunya locks them, feeds them lies and in the end the lies just get bigger and bigger and bigger. No they did not go to the moon. <gasps> we choose to go to the moon. They're faking going to the moon. Hello Apollo 11, Houston. Okay Neil we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay Neil we can see you coming. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made in the whole history of man. That's a lie. Presented by NASA. They're faking going and they don't go beyond 200 miles and all sorts of radiation. It's another lie. <laughs> they did not go to the moon. This is maqam al-fardani, they have no, no way. Allah said is Sultan that the only way for you to penetrate the heavens is with the Sultan al-Nasirah.
a permission from the Sultan which is Sayyidina Muhammad and he's given no such permission for them to take their tube and shoot it out and make a whole imitation of having gone somewhere. That reality is for the jinn reality that they traverse with a completely different understanding. But for insan they have no permission to go to the moon and they're faking going. Now they, they thought that everybody was okay with that, let's take it a little bit further. We went to Mars, 300 million miles away. After a journey of 300 million miles, NASA's perseverance, a landing that could be directed by Hollywood. And now we, we're running on there, we have a machine that he, he goes there like a, like a PlayStation and we drive it around on that 300 million miles away. And we said many times, if, if they had this technology, they should give it to everybody on earth because as soon as the rain comes, the cable doesn't work. How our cable doesn't work, but they can play PlayStation 300 million miles away. It's one another line. Forget about the lies they're telling you, but the haqqaiq behind for believers. As soon as in Rajab the mentioning of Mars comes, it's a code. Allah created this creation and when a programmer puts in a program there's a code in there. As soon as Mars is represented and Mars is mentioned, Mars represents Sayyidina Mahdi Mars represents the planet of war, something is coming. The coding is coming that Sayyidina Mahdi Salam is very near and that the tajalli of Sayyidina Mahdi Salam coming to the earth and the realities of Sayyidina Mahdi Salam is coming nearer and nearer. And that's glad tidings for the believer when they see these signs upon the horizon and we ask that Allah send the signs within ourselves that make the light of Sayyidina Mahdi Salam to shine within our heart. All that we're doing, all that we're struggling, all that we're giving, all that we're participating Ya Rabbi is make us to be Mahdiyoon. Mahdiyoon means that what we're doing in our muraqabah, doing in our spiritual practices, the light of Sayyidina Mahdi salam begin to reflect into the heart of those lovers and ashaqeen. Prophet described, you be with whom you love. The earth already filled now with all of its deceit and all of its lies and the people are ready for the truth. The people are ready for the truth, the truth has a power and Islam comes as pure, pure light and pure water from the heavens, no dirtiness, no crookedness and no lies within it. We pray that Allah address us and bless us with Divinely light and Divinely protection with whatever signs are coming within the heavens and make those signs to manifest within ourselves Ya Rabbi. Bring the light of Sayyidina Mahdi salam into our hearts and into our being and give us istiqam and firmness. Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basiri Surat al-Fatiha. With your generous support, we have helped many of the needy around the world. You can make a difference right now by helping us support those who need it the most. Give now at nurmuhammad.com forward slash donate.